Okay, I'm giving you a brief tour of what's still going on in the garden. Um, so there are tons of squash here. Uh, and there's one there. And another one below it. And there's another one. There's another squash over there. The yellow. There's one. Cucumbers are about done. I uh, don't know if there are any cucumbers hanging yet. There's still some life on these cucumbers. But I don't see much of anything in terms of cucumbers themselves. So, here's lots of squash. You're starting to see them because the plants are starting to die back. Pumpkins, pumpkin squash. There's some big green ones over there as well. Okay, let's just duck briefly into the uh, high tunnel. Trisha was in here getting uh, tomatoes yesterday. So the Robsons at the back, I don't know if you how well you can see them, but they're starting to to die back, so all, all that's left are just the uh, unripe tomatoes. Um, these are uh, more along the lines of uh, a Roma tomato, and uh, these ones as well. And they're, they're coming. Uh, you can see a number of them aren't quite ripe yet, but they definitely are moving into that stage at this point. And we still have a number of uh, cherry tomatoes, these little guys here, and then the big story. So I don't know if you can see how well you can see that, but there are four peppers that I can see there, and one's turning red. Uh, here are a number of greens that are still sitting there. There's some bell peppers. There's some more, some more, and peppers galore. So there's bells there, some in there. If we go back, find some more. So these are reds. There's another big red. These ones are spicy. So um, I don't know exactly what the type are, but uh, and then some more reds. We will have peppers coming out of our ears this year. And we just picked another eggplant off of here yesterday. So there's still flowers, lots of flowers. Um, but I don't think that we'll end up with any more fruits. Oh, there's one. Maybe. Depends on how long before we get the first frost. So the hot high tunnel hothouse has been a success this year, and we're still working with that. Very briefly, uh, are they in piles? How big are the piles? That's what I mean. I think they're too big to be rabbit piles. There's one there. I saw one. Oh, that's still a rabbit. You think so? Yeah. No. Not exciting. Then. Over here somewhere. More fresh than the ones.
So we haven't uh, tried to dig up, so there's lots of, of uh, cherry tomatoes still. Those are the volunteer ones. We haven't tried to uh, dig up the um, sweet potatoes, that's what these are. Uh, not sure that we're going to get much. And the rabbits have been at our carrots. They're just eating away at them. Everywhere, Trish. The beans are basically done. We'll have to go through one more time. You can see that there are a number of big beans. We'll have to uh, strip plants off of the netting. And uh, here are our great plants. Uh, they didn't do well this year, but hopefully when we move them over to the other location in just a little while, they'll actually do much better. So I'm going to set up a new paddock for the chickens, and that new paddock will be in this area. So it'll go alongside the garden here and move out into that direction. So essentially, probably about 30 feet this way. Which is somewhere in this location. Uh, another 30 feet this way. You can see this is the product of the, the uh, chickens last year. All this grass. And then 30 feet back that way. So that'll probably give us a, a good, good sizable area to work in. Let's see what I can do to to uh, set things up. Okay, following Paul McCartney's lead, I've had enough. I can't put up with any more. No, 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 no. I've had enough. Can't put up with any more. Anyways, um, I got the paddock uh, for next week. We'll move them tomorrow. Um, roughly finished. Uh, so the, the basic gist is We've got a, the makings of a square, so it's about 30 feet. Each one of these sections is 10 feet um, by 30 feet, uh, so 900 square feet, I guess. Uh, and part of it runs up against the end of the, uh, the garden there, or the edge of the garden. Um, it's pretty hard going because uh, I've gone through both an electric whipper snipper and a uh, gas powered um, bush cutter. Neither one is in service right now. Uh, so I'm left with the scythe that you've seen me uh, making use of, um, which is good, but it certainly doesn't do a fine job. Um, so the, the grass is still quite long and uh, it's, uh, um, yeah. It is what it is. Um, so what we'll do is leave it there. And we've got a function tonight uh, in Oshawa. So we'll have to leave relatively early uh, to get there. Uh, it's at uh, our old church, uh, an anniversary, um, 25 years, I think. Um, 
anyways uh, so I, I think I'm going to sign off here may do a little bit more uh, video recording tomorrow but uh, there's no guarantee of that and uh, early next week it looks like it's going to rain yay uh, anyways uh, we'll leave it there talk to you soon